do grocery shopping when you have specific dietary restrictions. So when you, should we just do it or? Yeah, okay, so uh, for instance, if you are on a wheat-free diet, you would um, download the app and you would type in your dietary restrictions and then when you're grocery shopping, so that you don't have to like read all the labels of a hundred different products, which takes forever. You just scan the item, and um, it'll let you know if it's got, you know, contains what you're trying to avoid. Um, you could also program it to if you're looking for a specific ingredient, um, it would it would do that for you too. So, for instance, if you like um, uh, things sweetened with stevia as opposed to sugar, you wouldn't have to read all the labels, it would just kind of like help to find it. So, um, so, we so she, she's wearing her glasses so right I'm, now, I'm the, the, the invisible kind. <laughs> I will be her glasses. And I'm, I'm shopping. The last person that money. <laughs> so <laughs> I come in, eye. I see a product that I like, and I just tap or say, you know, scan barcode. Good. So I put this in my cart, and then um, I can also save this item so that it can be retrieved later, or I can share this with uh, my boyfriend so that when he goes shopping, um, <clears throat> when he's in the aisles and he passes the object, it'll like come up and he'll know like to get it. So, one? now I can just this one. <laughs> this one's no good, this one can stay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Oh, and they can also, you, if you can't read our code, speak in or you can Right. Awesome. What's the name of that solution again? We were thinking of calling it Finicky. Finicky. <laughs> that is good. That's a good name. I love it.